Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my Biotech NA32C Curve 32 inch LED monitor product review. As you can see here, I've already got some uh, video started. Essentially, it's uh, Costa Rica in 4K at 60 frames per second on YouTube. Uh, of course, I'm not watching it in 4K. I have it set to 1080p, which is the maximum resolution of this monitor, at 1920 by 1080 uh, in resolution. Of course, you probably don't care about that. Uh, it's also commonly known as 1080p uh, or Full HD or whatever people refer to it this day, um, you know, these days. Uh, but essentially, uh, what you should be seeing is the same thing I'm seeing, which is an extremely sharp uh, image. I have to say that I bought this last week from Amazon. Uh, normally I do an unboxing and all that as part of my product review. I could not actually wait to get out and play with this. I was kind of curious. Uh, so I busted it out this weekend and did some gaming, uh, did some horror gaming. Uh, and some traditional gaming, and I will say that the uh, the blacks on this screen are excellent. Uh, so it really helps bring those horror games to life when the blacks are truly black, and uh, it gives you a real feeling, uh, you know, of horror and that, that true darkness. Uh, at the same time, uh, the box does say it has a 20,000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. Uh, to be honest, that seems kind of meaningless to me. Uh, and probably does to the average person as well. Uh, but all I care about is the end result, uh, which is an extremely, extremely, uh, you know, uh, responsive screen with great resolution, tons of color. Uh, and then, like I said, the most important color though is the black. Uh, the black pops. It's very deep, very impressive. Uh, this is the standard box. Uh, it's just, you know, your standard brown shipping box. It got to me in absolutely pristine shape, which is all I care about. There's a couple pieces of styrofoam that protect the monitor in there. And as your standard model number, 16 by 9 ratio, your contrast ratio, pixel pitch, number of colors, 16.7 uh, million. Of course, I'm not going to be hand counting any colors anytime soon, but as sharp as this screen is, I have no reason to uh, disbelieve the 16.7 million color statement. Uh, so, very, very nice screen. Uh, I will say that I'm a little, the camera's a little bit farther back than I like to be. That's because when the camera gets too close to the monitor, you have uh, some pixelation. Not of the monitor, of the actual camera. It's not really the fault, the monitor, it's really the camera, and uh, just, if anybody wants to send me a $10,000 camera, I'd be more than happy to review it and use it, but until then, we're kind of stuck at this range in order to get a good picture. Uh, but like I said, it is a very sharp picture, everything's coming to life. Uh, and that's, it could be the, I mean, it's of course the great resolution, but the monitor is also curved slightly. It's not a huge curve. It's a very slight curve. I'm going to go ahead and pull it down now just to show you. That's a thin screen, about three quarters inch or so at the top there. And you can see that it's a very slight, slight curve. Uh, but it's just enough to really bring like, di you know, a dynamic image to life. Nothing in nature is flat, so to say that a flat screen monitor can project the same depth that a, uh, you know, curved screen monitor is probably false. Uh, another thing about curved monitors people pitch is that it helps reduce glare. Glare is not really an issue in my house, uh, but if it is in yours, hey, it probably does help. Uh, and just so you know, this studio is lit up. I have like 16 lights beaming down on this thing right now, so if glare was an issue, you would definitely see it. Uh, but you're hopefully not. Uh, but this is the owner's manual. We're going to go ahead and talk about it a little bit. It's your standard owner's manual. It's not very big. Uh, it was definitely written by somebody whose native language, language was English, which is always a good thing. It's, you know, very well written, even though it's short. Uh, so, of course, we like that. Biotech Curve LED Monitor User's Manual NA32C. Uh, the first page here is your standard warnings. Don't dip it in water, how to clean it, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, the next is features, 16.7 million colors, on-screen display, smart control interface, a bunch of stuff that's meaningless. Uh, it does have a solid menu, uh, and we're going to go over that more option. Uh, we're going to go over those options in more detail. Uh, it shows you the connectors it has. It has a VGA connector, which I rarely use, if at all. Uh, it has a DVI connector, which is how I have it connected right now. Uh, and also has an HDMI connector, which most people are going to be familiar with your standard HDMI. And then it has your audio connector. Uh, the audio you're hearing right now is actually coming out of the internal speakers built into the Viotech monitor, which was actually an added bonus for me. I purchased this on Amazon last week on Monday, uh, and I bought it for the 32-inch curve screen being a good price. Uh, and when I got it, I realized it had internal speakers, so they were made, you know, as a bonus. Uh, as far as internal speakers, they do a solid job. Uh, they're like any other internal monitor speakers. They're not, you know, blockbusters. Uh, I listened to it over the weekend. I listened to some uh, deep bass style music as loud as possible. 
And of course, when the volume was up way loud, uh, the bass did get muddy. Uh, however, if you are an audiophile and you only use the best speakers, I seriously doubt you're using internal monitor speakers, and you probably have a nice set anyway, so it's not really going to be a big deal to you. Uh, however, if you do want internal monitor speakers, uh, this does come equipped with them, and they are, I would describe them as between adequate to good. Uh, I was very impressed with them overall. They're, they're good for internal monitor speakers, uh, but like I said, it's not something I really need. <clears throat> Uh, we'll continue on with the menu here. It tells you the power indicator light. Right now it's blue because it's working. The monitor's on, the PC's not, it turns green. There's some couple other colors there, I don't care. Uh, okay, and then it tells you about the, the, the uh, buttons here for the menu, and it has five buttons. It has a menu, a left, a right, an exit, and a power button, and they're basically these plastic keys that you reach up underneath and push up to depress. Uh, they're, you know, they're easy to use. They're buttons. I don't know what else to say about them. Uh, but we're going to go over the menu here as soon as we're done with the manual. Uh, the next page is, of course, some of the menu settings that we're going to talk about here shortly. Uh, and then here's some troubleshooting. If it doesn't turn on, make sure it's plugged in, yada yada. And here's the resolution. It goes from all the way to the top end, 1920 by 1080, the bottom end, 640 by 480. I don't know why you would take such a beautiful monitor with great resolution and turn it to 640 by 480. But at the same time, if that's what you want to do, go right ahead. It's your monitor. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put down the manual there. You know, no surprises. Uh, but at the same time, we're gonna go over the menu options. Uh, the first thing to note is it has some preset settings. They call them eco settings. Uh, and you don't have to go into the menu to get to them. You can just use the left and the right arrow to page through. Uh, we're gonna start with gaming mode. That's essentially the mode I have it on now. Uh, it has a little bit sharper reds. It's supposed to be better contrast for gaming. I actually did game using this mode uh, and it was great. I would describe it as almost the exact same as the Vivid mode uh, in a Sony Bravia HD TV, which is what I have at home. Uh, so the Vivid mode is, has some bright red, and the Gaming mode here at the Viotech has some additional bright red. So I would kind of, you know, say those are very similar. Uh, however, the only disadvantage to the Gaming mode I found is that it turns red up a little bit. So for gaming, it's fine, but at the same time, if you watch a movie in the Game mode, the faces are a little bit more red than normal. Uh, it didn't really bother me too much, but it did bother my wife, so I had to switch it over to movie mode to make her happy. Uh, we don't normally watch movies on this, but I, you know, as part of my product review, I kind of uh, try to do as much as possible. Uh, so then you switch to standard mode, which you saw got less red, and then you have Internet Explorer mode, which essentially it's text mode. It's made to be softer on the eyes while you're reading. I didn't read too much on it, so I can't vouch for it, but, you know, I have some faith in it. And then have, this is the movie mode. You can see by the, I guess that's a knockoff Windows Media logo. I'm not sure what it is, but it's movie mode. And uh, they're all solid presets. Uh, I generally keep mine on gaming mode because my PC is a gaming machine, but hey, whatever you want to keep it on. Now we're gonna talk about the menu settings. It has all the menu settings that you, you know, would expect to find in your standard monitor. Uh, you can control brightness, contrast. Eco mode is what we talked about before. It's in game mode. Uh, and then DCR, I'm not really sure about. You can adjust your horizontal position and your vertical position uh, to ensure that it matches with uh, whatever settings you have on your PC. Uh, and then it has your aspect ratio, which I have it set on automatic. By default, it's set on widescreen. Uh, I was playing around with it. Uh, I would suggest you keep it on widescreen because when it goes to four by three, you have some cutoff of about two and a half, three and a half inches here on the side of your screen, and we don't like that. Uh, but I know there are video purists out there who do not like watching stretched images. They say it looks unnatural. So if you're watching a 4x3 video and you don't want to stretch a natural image, use 4x3. I'm, uh, I don't care. Uh, so I'm not going to move it to 4x3 and put it right back into widescreen. Okay, so now we're going to go back and go down more menu options here. And uh, we have your color temperature, which is essentially a mix of red, green, and blue. You can adjust it. If you want it warm, it's a little bit you know, less green. If you want it cool, it's less red. Uh, or you can set it user defined however you'd like. Of course, it comes down to personal preference, and uh, I just use whatever the gaming mode is. All right, and then you have more horizontal vertical positioning, timing, and transparency. Uh, and then you have reset, which reset is to reset it to factory defaults. Let's say you made some changes to the color you don't like, hit reset, it'll go back. Uh, power, auto power down, as I have it on off, by default is off. Essentially, if you turn it on when your monitor, when your when your PC or whatever you have it plugged into goes to sleep it will automatically shut off. So instead of just coming back and wiggling the mouse to turn on, you actually have to physically push the power button. Not really a big deal. But at the same time, I'm lazy, so I leave it off. 
All right, and the next option down is miscellaneous, and you can change the hotkey type, the signal source, which I'm using DVI. Uh, if you have multiple, let's say you have a PC plugged in DVI and you have a laptop HDMI, you can actually use that to choose uh, where, where it draws the input from. Not something I'm going to use, but hey, you might, so it's important. Then of course, as mute and volume for the internal speakers. Uh, I generally use the Windows control, but at the same time, hey, more options are always a good thing. All right, so we've went over it. At the end of the day, uh, I'm going to have to highly recommend this Biotech 32 inch monitor. Uh, I'm going to break a rule today. I normally don't talk about price on the monitors or on any devices really, so that my videos can maintain relevance far into the future and not just when I bought them. However, this is a relatively new product. Uh, I bought it last Monday for $349.99 on Amazon and I'd never noticed it as an Amazon listing before so I think it's relatively new. It also had zero reviews. Uh, a friend of mine bought a 32 inch curved screen monitor about three and a half, maybe no, four and a half or five weeks ago and he paid $470. Uh, and he even admits that my screen is a little bit sharper and the blacks are way darker. Uh, so he is rather upset with his $470 purchase, and I am extremely pleased with my $350 purchase. Uh, so this is another object that's getting uh, two thumbs up uh, for value and another two thumbs up for quality. Normally to get a high quality image, you're going to sacrifice something, or if, you're gonna, if you want to get a really good price, you have to sacrifice quality. Uh, not so in this case. I'm very happy with my purchase for $349.99 uh, from Amazon.com. Uh, in the 32 inch NA32C Biotech curved LED monitor. Definitely a good, good deal, great value, great quality, two thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated, thank you. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.